Hello everybody, welcome back to the next Madden Ultimate Team game here. Oh, great. <laughs> well, you might be a pass-heavy team by the looks of it. Well, just have to play a turnover-free game and have a chance. Oh, just keep... And it looks like he created his own team, too. So it looks like we have a true Madden player here. So have to try real tough here. Oh. Ow. <laughs> I was going to get tackled anyways. I pressed the wrong button. But... Alright. Let's go. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They come up in an offset eye. First carry for ah, I had a hole there, but the my guys the lost their freaking block. Alright. I don't know if I like this or not. Never works. Here, I'll switch it to this. Second down, Rivers. And agreeing with a catch left side. Ah. That catch good for five. It's third down. All right. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but they have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks. Those guys are worth their weight in gold. Nice. He's got his target. That's more. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your man rate. Yeah, there we go. About that at all, and you know something? I will hear about all that right. from him soon. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers. Oh, you serious? Really? Ah, oh, come on, man. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually stupid idiot. The there, I run into your so stupid nice kicker. Such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is taken at his four. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They start the drive with Hyde. And an alley to run. Nice. Carlos Hyde, see you later. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Carlos Hyde, 79 yards. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. And those are the highlight real runs you dream of right there. When he gets a seam and just gets through it, how about the explosiveness, the burst to get there to begin with, and then once he's in full gallop, good luck trying to track him down. And those plays so demoralizing for the defense. Absolutely. Ah, at least I tied it up pretty so quickly. I just need to stop him. When they're past you and behind you, that's a tough one to swallow. They'll come out in the pistol. Brady now on first down. He's going to let this one go deep. Come on! And they finally Should have been almost a freaking pick. Before he reaches the 34. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Sliding out of the pocket, right side. That's complete to ah. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, we've come on. It's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily.
necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. And this is caught. What? Garbage. He got so lucky on most of them freaking passes. Come on, man. That is such freaking stupidity. Come on. And found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown. <sighs> Great play. Freaking garbage, man. Come on. He Get just threw it up there. The touchdown. Because it's his receivers are high overall, they catch it. Field it about a yard deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done. but the loud run, I pressed the wrong button. Just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper play? And we'll see how determined they are. On third and one, here's Rivers. It's brought in by Bolden. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. Rivers. He dumps it to Hyde. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. On second down, Hyde. And he's got room. Yeah, baby. Hyde, see you later. with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he will be marked out right there at the 20-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? Come to on. Be Cam, exactly what luckily, before. throw it up every time. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense there. has some adjustments. Thank you. got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. He'll buy some time right. Come on. And his throw here is incomplete. Looking for his all pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And that takes us from second to third down. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. It's a gain of nine yards, and that's going to make it fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. Ah, oh, come on. Really nice job here limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. I have to be careful Another with this. Pistol look here. On first and ten, here's Brady. Going for a right side here. Ah. Uh. And like I said, down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. And there, the man coverage not good enough, partner, and they're able to complete the pass. Excellent recognition of the man coverage, and they found the guy who could win downfield. 
On first down, Brady. He's got the hook up to Man, him. come on. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And those first downs do add up. The offense keeps the ball moving downfield and keeps their defense on the bench, giving them a chance to rest. Throwing on first down is Brady. Rolling to his right. Goes right side, complete to Gronk. A gain of six there on first. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, They move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Now Brady again. Oh my god, man. What defense can stop this idiot? This offense is in rhythm now, just accumulating first downs and moving the ball downfield. Into the red zone, it's Brady. That is caught inside the five. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Oh my goodness. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Oh, I wish that would have been picked. Passes before that one. As it falls incomplete. And puts a halt to that streak. And this seemingly endless drive continues. Brady to throw on third and one. They'll roll him out right. Oh, come on. Pick it off. Incomplete. Now they've got to be a little frustrated here to not complete that on third down after having such a long drive going. Hey, you're talking about going over 70 yards on the drive. Yeah, did you say a little frustrated? <laughs> Very frustrated. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Very frustrated. There's no doubt about it. They thought they were going to have a chance to cash in in the end zone. Now it looks like it's likely a field goal attempt. They'll run it with Elliott. Come on. Oh, they didn't get him. Oh. First down as he's tackled at the two. Oh. <sighs> Touchdown, and he's able to fight all the way down to the two yard line. So it's a big conversion there on fourth down, and now they'll get four more shots from there. And he is going to lose yardage here. Couldn't you have done that last play? Jeez. And now it's second down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. Now Brady. Yes! Thank you! Now the Patriots offense, they worked their way back out onto the field. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of. But so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. Oh, he... Dang it! Freaking drops it. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Rivers. What the freak was that? My god, that was stupid. What the freak were those idiots doing? Come on. Here for the offense on third down. Hide the lone man in the backfield. On third down, Rivers. And he's got his target. That's more. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. To throw Rivers. Ah! Incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Dang it, man. At any time they call an in route, 
are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Final play of the half, Rivers. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh! Intercepted. God dang it. Fucking jerk off, man. Come on. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17 yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively. To there we go. Down. Back at his own seven. K1 short. Coming up the middle. Gets him there for a loss of about nine. Brady to throw on second down. Ah! Whew. Nice. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to I almost them, had him. You put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got Come on, get in there. Taking the hit, but incomplete. Steps away to his left. Oh, Are you serious? Touchdown, Odell Beckham, uh. And his guys are going to take the lead. Well, they were back in the shadows of their own goal post, and that flipped quickly. So much for playing it safe. I mean, a conservative, easy call, run the football, take care of it, create some space, pump the ball away, but no, let's throw it. And sometimes a defense's aggressiveness is used against them because when you've got people backed up, your natural inclination is to try and really force them back, and sometimes they get burned that way. And they got burned there. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Are you serious? What the heck? Quit stumbling, you moron! God! Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Oh, my. <laughs> on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good so they'll be hoping to do that once more and it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach they felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive and we'll see if they can do just that and that's exactly what you want on a first down run pick up five yards bring up second and five the defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. This is Elliott, and he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run giving up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it's the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. They'll go for it. It's Brady. It ah, thank you. He can't ah. hold the dice, but it didn't work out. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on down. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful. Oh, my God. Uh, can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Whenever they're trying to attack a zone defense, you're trying to figure out where your gaps are going to be. And depending on what type of zone they're playing, it could be on the outside, it could be in the middle, it could be in the seams, in the edges. In this case, they tried to attack the middle of the field, but this zone defense didn't allow it because... It are you serious? Come on! And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what go screw yourself, you stupid idiot, man. Come on. Facing zone coverage, if he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme. Get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, when someone other than the quarterback is throwing the football, it's either beautiful or a disaster, and here it was the latter. Nowhere in between, right? I mean, you're exactly right. It takes a fortitude to call that type of a play, but when it doesn't work, oh, boy, you wish you hadn't. Out of his end zone, Rivers. Green's got it over the middle. It's a pickup of Oof. 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. <clears throat> and this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Back now in Foxborough. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. So the offense has it first and ten. All right. Oh my God. I hate running into guys off screen. I hate it. But it gets them to second and four. See if they stay on the ground for second down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. <laughs> And he'll get it down deep into Los Angeles territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. Hide the lone man in the backfield. He'll get the football here. A strong running. Come on. Oh. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Ah, uh, come on. A yardage here. Back to the two. It'll be a loss of a yard. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. And here comes play number six on this drive. Third down, Carlos Hyde. Now he's over. There we go. Phew. Cool. The only issue is there's only two minutes left in the game now. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. 
What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Come on! Oh, my God! And his guys are going to take the lead. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, Someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Rivers now, the throw on first down. Flushed out right. Time for oh, man. This one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Quick pass play there on the slant, Charles. Works out well for the offense. The offense loves it. The defender hates it. Hard to get through the body. No! Come on! It'll be second down. Shift together here from the D-line. And now they're in the hurry up. He's back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. God dang it. Vic Beasley. Come on. And the clock will roll. He didn't get rid of the football there, took the sack. It's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection as a quarterback. You have to get outside of the tap. No! Come on! Can you just pass it good? Freaking oh. Uh, so down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. Desperation time, Rivers on fourth down. Yes! Oh, my God. Come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Back to throw. The reception made over the middle. This is Bolden. It's a gain of 24 that time. And it'll be first down, New England. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. He couldn't close. Uh, Ball pops out, incomplete. Now here's a timeout coming on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Back to throw. And that is... Oh. Right, he still has that long ball game crap. With time running out, and the Patriots can take the lead with the extra point. And they have got the lead. Now Cat and Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Come on. Come on, Nico. Cut. Got his man complete. Now hold everything. 
thing here. We're gonna come on. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Any people out there? They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. To throw is Brady. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So, now whistles blow and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. Darn it. See. Remaining in this fourth ah, defense. Once again, freaking defense screws the so game up. Come down to the Pro Bowler, Goskowski. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And the 10 year vet knocks freaking the defense. Post, and it's celebration time on that uh, side. Stupid defense, I seconds. swear. And you know, in an era of cost cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have freaking defense. Have Come on, man. Like this. Answer's pretty evident to me. One last shot now for Rivers. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drop. Darn it. Ah, stupid defense, I swear. Oh my god. Darn it. Type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They I hate defense in this game. I freaking hate it. You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was Oh, I hate defense so much in this game. I hate it. I freaking hate it. can't say how much I hate defense in Madden. I hate it so much. It even screws me up when I'm playing against the AI. The defense, I hate playing defense. So I freaking hate Charles it. Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Just 23 so seconds left. Show. Nope. Defense can't stop them, of course. Freaking stupid.